This is Jordan Morgenstern from Web TV Lake Tahoe. We're here with LaVon Wilson, who just lost her home, and we're interviewing her to try to get some of the actual feelings and impressions of the people who actually lost their homes here in Lake Tahoe. LaVon, I know it's been difficult for you, but you agreed to come on camera with us today. Why don't you tell me some of the things that you feel as far as the reasons for this fire? I think that um, the Department of Forestry aren't doing their job. They're not cleaning up the forest lots. They're not thinning out the trees that need to be thinned out. And they're not cleaning up the forest like they said they're going to clean up the forest. All they do is they go out and they make some piles and they just leave it there. They claim they do these control burns that get out of control. You call it in. The dispatchers ditch you and tell you, you know, oh, it's just a control burn. Call the Department of Forestry, you know, and then the fire department has to go in and handle it. Our house, we intentionally sodded all around our house and had sprinkler systems all around our house just for fire prevention. There was a forest service lot right next door to us. They never came and cleaned that forest service lot as far as I know in the 11 years I lived in that house. And we built our own home. And when the one time I went to clean the forest service lot and rake out about 20 feet away from our home of the pine needles, they came out and made me actually physically take them out of the trash bags and put, spread the pine needles back up to our property line, which is about 10 feet away from our bedroom window. So essentially you were, spread, uh, you were spreading fuel for the fire. Spreading fuel. That's all these pine needles are. It's just fuel. And when they come and they make you put, look at this stuff here right here on the ground. That's just fuel. In this building and still up. you're talking about the chips that are on the yeah, ground. Wood chips. And they make you do this coverage around your house. And if you don't put sod in, a lot of people leave just the pine needles around their house because they make it. You can't rake your pine needles away from your house. They make you clean that. They make you put it back. The issue that you're talking about, though, is something that TRPA also deals with. Isn't that correct? Absolutely. TRPA, you, uh, we have a 13,000 square foot lot. We're only allowed to cover 27% of it. So we have a, essentially a, a small home on a lot. And we couldn't even put a walkway around from the front of the house to the back of the house for fire prevention. And in wintertime, when you have to plow around the side of the house in case your house does catch fire, you want an exit route. Um, they wouldn't even let us do that. Of course, they would if we buy them off. Now, when you money say talks. money talks in this town, and the TRPA is glad to take your money. Okay, well, when you say your money, are you talking about permits? Or are you talk What are you talking about? I'm talking about if you want to do something to your home to, for preventative space, you have to pay the TRPA money. They'll just take your money. And I mean, uh, I, I really can't explain right now I understand. how angry I am with that place. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, and, and I thank you again for doing this interview. But when you say the TRPA, we're talking about the Tahoe Regional Planning Authority. Absolutely, and I don't even think their governing board is even located here. The, the members on their on their committee, they don't even live here. They, when you say here in Tahoe. In Tahoe, they do not live here in Tahoe. Who are these people? Do they even vacation here? Do they actually come up here and see how we live? Do they care? I don't think they care at all. And they make up the rules as they go. I mean, you look at these people building houses on the lake, and they can build whatever they want. How, how come they can do that? Because they're paying the TRPA for more coverage and more coverage and more coverage. You know, they want to charge us $25,000 to put a walkway just for a permit to put a walkway around the side of our house. Get out of here. And if you had and put that. If we sold the house, if we ever decided to sell the house, we'd have to tear it out. Thank you very much. Okay.